Good morning, everybody, or afternoon or evening. This is Indian Bread Rocks BLM Camping Area, and it is special. I should have mentioned, and well, I'm going to mention that if you notice in the last video, the minute I start speaking certain war chiefs' names, the wind just kicked up like crazy and just started giving me shit. And I didn't think about that. And I was reminded later on that that in the Indian tradition, it's not supposed you're not supposed to speak the name of people that have passed like out loud. You can think about them and all this other stuff, but to say their name out loud is a, is a big no-no. I kind of fucked up. My bad. I'm sorry. But yeah, that, that's it was funny because I didn't think about that till later. I was like, yep, that's what happened. And if you, you watch the last video, you, and you'll see. It's so pretty here, isn't it? Hi, how you doing? But yeah, that last video was crazy. I, I, kept, I watched it and I was like, what the hell, man? I was like, they're messing with me. The spirits, this place is swimming with them. So like I said, it's it's magic. This place is magic, which is kind of cool. The difference between Alabama Hills and this place is, I mean, Alabama Hills is a little different, of course. But this is more primitive. Alabama Hills has gotten really controlling and day use only and don't camp in here, this and that. You can actually, you know, forage for wood here as long as you're not rip, cutting wood you can't you can't cut standing wood which is a live plant but you can gather dead wood which is cool because i don't have enough money for wood so i'm just gonna plus it's gonna probably snow tomorrow or later on tonight which is gonna be interesting <clears throat> but yeah it's gonna be interesting new year if i were to talk about anything of course i want to talk about you and how much i love you and how much I'm proud of you for your growth and your progress of being a good human being. And, you know, it's not easy, babe. I know. But we can do it. And like the new year when they get have the resolutions, you know, re whatever. But I'm just thinking more like just start a new life. Shed, shed that old skin. Get rid of the old life, the old habits, the way of thinking, being. Start, start fresh. Start now. That'd be kind of cool. I'm shedding some things. I'm working on it. <laughs> I got some things I need to work on. Of course, and we all do. Like I said, I'm not perfect. And, uh, mostly, I just need to sit back and figure out some stuff. My my biggest problem in life is finance, and that's not bad at all if you think about it. You know, people have a lot of mental issues, which are tough. I mean, I got those too. I mean, you know, we all have our concerns. I call it. And I tell people when you talk about um, mentally disturbed human beings, and I simply say that everything that I've seen in my 51 years plus has made me mentally disturbed by the horrors. You know what I mean? You cannot not see things and not be concerned or disturbed by them. You know what I mean? It's like post-traumatic stress disorder. Just seeing things that were done to other human beings like Facebook was horrible about that just horrible there's videos popping up on my feed that were absolutely just monstrous I don't even get into it like people being killed and I didn't understand why I was seeing those videos why Facebook was posting those videos and posting them on my feed and these people I weren't I, I weren't friend I wasn't friends with any of these people so I and then I realized how evil Facebook was I was like oh it's like that's not good so it's almost like if the devil could control Facebook and they're like, I'm just going to flood their page with just the most horrible shit. Just make them just think life is just horrible. And people were all horrible. And there are some out there evil out there. But but that's not how I roll, remember? I'm rolling in light, babe. And the, high, the higher my vibration, the higher I love, the higher I live, the better the world is, right? That's how we work. We try to, you know, we try to affect people with beauty and love and happiness, not fear and, and paranoia and stupidity and ignorance. I'm just saying, you know me, I don't want to get into it, but I love you and I'll fight for you. I will talk shit about other people for you. No, I'm, I'll be good about that. But I think there's a lot of assholes in the world. Like globalists, I hate them. But anyway, you know, I'm, I mean, go back past videos. I've made my, my views very plain about a lot of people, especially the leaders of the world. They're all just horrible humans. 
it's bad, 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 bad. Shame for shame. I'll need a paddling. Anyway, I love you. And I want you to work on yourself this new year. Just, you know, if you guys sit in silence, I've so many times I've been passed out before the end. I mean, it's, it's different when you're by yourself just hanging out. I don't know. I may mean, hear some guns shooting off here. I don't know. It's going to be pretty quiet. It's going to be a quiet year for me. Plus, it might be snowing and raining, so who knows. Anyway, enough about that and about me. Um, I love you. I'm such a flirt. I know. I'm going to turn it away because enough about me. And I want you to have a wonderful new year and be safe. And, yeah, don't be afraid to be who you are because you're amazing. That's all I feel about it. Okay, I'm on two.